hey loves welcome back to another video it's your boy c and i'm back with another video so guys in today's video i'm basically doing an nyc carnival vlog today's a saturday and i think the i don't know the date so i'm gonna put the date in so today's a saturday and today's actually our carnival so yeah we are all appearing in our individual uniform as you can see so i sort of taking you guys along just to entertain you guys so yeah stay tuned grab your popcorn grab your drink and let's get started with today's event okay this is directly behind me say hi to the vlog so we are live from Brazil from Nomtai. And today is our carnival day. We are repping from Tonsen. Yeah. Love you guys. So guys, here at these points, the high dignitaries, the state coordinator, the camp directors, like basically all the camp officials, literally had to match in those that won Miss NYC, Mr. Matri, like all the dignitaries had to basically match in for the carnival events to start, and that's what's currently happening right now that's the band members in their uniform i'm just playing for the camp officials to walk up to the stage before we can then carry on with today's event today's activity without much work i would encourage us to appreciate our culture so yeah and here the state coordinator had to uh, move from one platform to the other so i belong to platform number 10 and yeah this way like you can hear from the background noises like my plateau was not even ready we are wrapping the evil culture and our igwe was nowhere to be found um some other guy had to just kind of stand in place for the igwe so that's um what the commotion you are hearing behind was just all about like he was missing but yeah the stage director had to um, go from one platoon to the other and yeah when he got to our platoon we had to literally stand up all together and that's what you're country um, currently seeing right now and so guys here yeah, at this point the state got new tour was at platoon two and platoon two were um they were representing the house culture like I think they really did well. I was so excited that you can hear me just shouting, Say Baba, Say Baba, Alajaza Manika. And yet, at this point, they had to like just dance before they can like continue with like the event, the events, and like the competitions that they had to do for the day. So yeah, they were just dancing and dancing and dancing. And here, at this point, each of the platoon had to like um, walk up to the state coordinator who was on the stage and basically just um, dance uh, representing the culture yeah so they had their kings they had their queens and they had their dancers that were dancing basically to the song that represents that particular culture that they were um standing in for represent i hope that makes sense so yeah so this was part one and i think they were rapping i don't know what it's called but i think they were rapping the um rivers or Kalaba culture i don't i'm literally confused so yeah this part one and yeah those that um those officials that also belongs to that particular um, tribe or that particular culture came out and danced with them and yeah so after they are done dancing the king and the queen would then walk up to the stage to meet the stage coordinator and then just say some words pertaining the tribe that they um represented so that's basically what was happening so each of the platins um had different um what's it called um, culture or tribes that they were representing and yet this for the house of culture we dancing <laughs> don't mind me i was quite excited when plus two came out like if you need to see me you think that i believe belong to the house of culture but yeah i come from the north so why not say baba i like jazz and manika but this word i kind of felt they were doing too much yeah but just watch and get entertained though And yeah, this was Platinum Tree rapping another tribe, another culture. Like I, I don't even know what um, culture like this platform was rapping. I don't really know what culture, but and yeah, this platform for rapping another culture. Like, like I said, different platforms rap different cultures. So yeah, if you happen to see your culture or the tribe rapped here, you can please state in the comment section. That way, I also get to know what tribe each platform represented. Yeah, this was the Yoruba culture. Like they were singing the song, I didn't really know this song, but yes, this is what's real about culture. I was just 
vibing and vibing and vibing and vibing. They said that the match grid was called a war. I think that's what uh, my friend told me. So yeah, this is the Yoruba culture. Dancing, 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 dancing. Yeah, and they also had to walk up to the stage like other platins did. Yeah, to pay, um, to just meet the meter and just say some words. So yeah, you can see me. I literally don't know this song. I did think I know this new song. I did over for you all. But I was just vibing to eat. Um, so you can see my friend vibing to the song. Like she was feeling, feeling herself though. So yeah, that's it for the Yoruba culture. Yes, and yeah, this was another platoon repping the teeth culture. At this point, I've lost count as to which platoon where yeah, they were repping the teeth culture. We're just like dancing, 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 dancing. That's the king and queen there. And yeah, it was and the turn of another platoon repping another culture. Like I said, I don't really know all the cultures they were repping, but yeah, they were repping in the block cultures. And yeah, so boy, I was like, why he was he covering his nose? But then I got to know that particular culture, this particular culture, they always like cover their nose with the king and the queen so yeah and then it was our son platinum 10 we're repping the ebos like i said before just i'm like watch out you're going to see me in my ebo spirit like i was digging it yeah so yeah that's our king and queen and yeah, you can see me with the blue hand key i'm going to put an arrow yeah you can see me i was just like dancing and dancing and dancing really had fun on this day like it was really funny aside for the fact that i was initially uh, um, annoyed at the outfit but yeah later on when we all work together it kind of makes sense so yeah we danced and danced and danced and danced and danced and then our dancers had to go and dance for the stage coordinator dance dance dancing 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 okay, come on come on come on see me now uh -huh. dance and dance abba dancer so yeah we danced and danced and danced and danced we had the so we had the last platform and then we had to leave the police after it was done then the next thing was for all the king and queens of individual persons, individual um, culture and tribes to kind of just walk to the state community and then walk back and then just basically line up, which was what they did. Yeah, and then our king and queen came and we were just basically like hailing in the Vakweno, Kesolo. Don't mind me though, like it was for like I had for that day. So like I said, they had to line up and this our Habal is our chief only for what he was doing. We literally were begging him to get out so we don't get disqualified. And here yeah, this when the band members, individual groups then had to like present to so the band members yeah, going to, and playing for the state coordinator and then basically just going like individual groups had to present the band members, the medicals the um, SDGs, the um, OBS, like individual groups had to present, they had to like dance and walk to the stage at so, yeah. So guys, yeah, and at this point, it was game time. Um, each person had to like bring out one representative and they called this challenge, I think they said the dressing challenge, the dress and undress challenge, no, the dress challenge where um, each um, representative of each platoon had to basically dress with their crested vest, their jacket, their um, khaki jacket, their khaki trouser, their um, socks, their boots, your ID card, like basically complete um, dressing for a cop member. So yeah, we're just basically like cheering our um, representative, the lady right here was our representative. At some point, some people were like shouting at her and some were like, don't pressure her, don't pressure her, she's going to do well. She actually did well, so yeah. We are, 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 we are all on that tension, like, we are all tense, they were all tense, like, so yeah, she wore her boots, and they were only to quick first, second, and top, so our hats were literally, like, on our shoes, yeah. So guys, after they were done dressing, um, a judge had to come like like inspect, check their dressing to see if it was okay, and then score them based on their dressing. Like I said, it's a competition between the ten platoons. So yeah, after we were done with that, the scores were recorded but not sent to us until after the whole thing. 
Then the next day was the field the bottle challenge. So like you can see, the first person had to like use their hand to fetch water from the bucket and then pass it, and then it's passed up onto the last person, and the last person then put it into the um, bottle. So yeah, this is what they were basically doing. And yeah, they later had blew the later blue to saying that it was time up. Yeah. So that's how they continue passing and passing and passing and passing from the first person to the last person. And for this game, they needed 10 persons. So yeah, the water literally passed through 10, 9 hands before it got to the last person. And then he placed it into the bottle. Yeah, and that's a bottle right there. It's not of up to have. Wow. Then the. Yeah, so we were just like cheering them, like everybody was feeling bad about themselves. This a wee! This a wee wee wee! Why are you having a black and red? So guys, this was another game, which was the dress and the undress challenge. So as you can see, um, the dress and the undress, I had to remove clothes from one person, wear it onto the other person, then the person turns, wear it onto the other person. And yeah, this game needed 15 individuals. So they had this dress, um, this top I had to pass through 15 different people. So that's how they were just dressing and undressing, dressing and undressing until what's the last person. Like it was fun because at some point, we were literally just shouting, like this girl in particular, she was just with the ass, just like it's really torn her, like what's wrong with you? So that's how they were just dressing and undressing, dressing and undressing. And you might be wondering why did I participate in any of this competition? I wanted to create content for you guys, so yeah. So that's how they were basically dressing and undressing, dressing and undressing, dressing and undressing, like so. Yeah, and at this point, this officer, the man who was, you know what it's called, like they literally have problems with our platoon. So, like, he was complaining that we we're not doing the game well and went to go and report us. But thankfully, and luckily for us, no one answered him. So, that's how dressing and undressing until he got to the last person. And when he was done, he had to literally run outside and we're very happy. You can see us celebrating, very excited. Yay, platoon 10! So guys, yeah, at this point, they were calling results for kitchen duties. Like I and my friends, we like to okay, my squad. We we're literally surprised as to the fact that uh, the platoon has not been called for like the bottom positions because I literally and me and my friend, my squad, we literally never entered the kitchen when we had platoon duties. So yeah, we we're literally surprised. And luckily for us, not doing that. Okay, some of our platoon members actually did well and went. And we got a um, third position on kitchen duties. We're super excited because like they have looked down on me as platoon ten. But yeah, we showed them today that I don't play with us, don't play with us, don't play with us. And yeah, we announced to the third position for kitchen duties. So yeah, and at this point, you can hear me say we lost. So yeah, they were not announcing the winners of another game. I literally had seven positions. Like, we're all down. But yeah, that's what's expected from life. You win some, you lose some. So we actually lost for this. But yeah, just that something good is coming up for us. Yeah. So yeah, and these were the winners of one of the challenges. I think um, this platinum tree. They won one of the challenges and they were just celebrating, super excited. And then we were then announced the overall winner, third overall winner of all activities done today. Like, we're so excited. And yeah, this is when our, our platoon leader, which one of our one of us, went to go and collect our award for getting overall third position of carnival activities. Like, we were so excited. Is he running and running and running? They're just shouting, we're just shouting, we're excited like their father. Your, we brought him an award. They thought we couldn't do it, but we did it. Ew. So, yeah, this is our award. Bro. Yeah. And then, plus, when we announced the overall win, our first position for carnival activities, like, actually, sun is coming, like, their outfits, the culture they presented, like, they did everything. We're not going to lie. So yeah, the one overall best and 
um, today's carnival events, but I'm just excited that Platinum actually brought something home like they thought we couldn't do it, but we did it. So, yeah, this is me and my friend. We're still just vibing after today's events. And here, yeah, guys.